A massive, bat-shaped aircraft has just appeared over China, sleek, silent, and unlike anything seen before. This mysterious flying wing, unofficially called the GGX, might not just be another drone. Its enormous wingspan and stealth design have experts asking one big question. Is it a next-gen bomber? First spotted at the Malin Air Base, it's now flying, revealing a breakthrough in stealth technology that could redefine what unmanned flight truly means. When the first clear footage of the GJX surfaced in October, the reaction across the aerospace community was immediate astonishment. This wasn't a small prototype or a concept mock-up. It was a full-scale, functional stealth aircraft in the sky. With an estimated wingspan of around 42 meters, it's nearly as wide as a Boeing 737, placing it in a class rarely reached by unmanned systems. And that size triggered the question echoing through aviation circles. Is it a next-gen bomber? The GJX's structure uses a cranked kite flying wing platform, giving it a futuristic manta ray profile. Instead of straight or delta wings, the edges bend slightly forward before tapering back, optimizing lift and reducing radar reflections. Along the trailing edges sit split rudders, which act as control surfaces, a design found in stealth aircraft like the USB-2. This configuration ensures maneuverability without compromising low observability. Beneath that graceful shape lies serious engineering. Analysts believe the drone houses twin engines mounted deep within the fuselage, their recessed exhausts cleverly designed to minimize heat and radar signatures. The twin-engine layout not only extends range and endurance, but also provides redundancy, critical for long, high-altitude missions. Over the rear section sits a small asymmetric hump, likely covering advanced avionics or cooling systems to manage onboard electronics. Another standout feature is its countershaded paint scheme. The upper surfaces are darker, blending with the sky, while the underside is lighter, matching sunlight reflection, a visual camouflage technique long used in stealth design to make detection difficult even for optical sensors. In aerial footage, this shading causes the drone to almost disappear when viewed from certain angles. What's even more remarkable is where it was spotted, Malin Air Base in Xinjiang known as China's testing hub for high-end UAVs. Satellite imagery from August captured the GGX on the runway, suggesting a series of ground evaluations before it took flight in October. This rapid progression hints at a mature project, not an early prototype. So what is the GGX actually built to do? Experts are still debating, but most theories fall into three compelling possibilities a next-generation reconnaissance platform, a stealth technology demonstrator, or a multi-role unmanned aircraft capable of both surveillance and testing advanced systems. The first and most likely possibility is that it's a long-endurance reconnaissance platform. Its vast wingspan, aerodynamic efficiency, and stealth shaping make it ideal for quietly gathering information from high altitudes. Its design echoes that of the rumored American RQ-180, an uncrewed surveillance drone optimized for penetrating deep into contested or remote airspace to collect critical data. The GJX could perform a similar role, providing real-time imaging, electronic intelligence, and atmospheric monitoring while staying undetected. Another credible theory is that the GJX serves as a testbed for next-generation technologies. Large flying wings like this are perfect for testing advanced radar-absorbing materials, adaptive control systems, and AI-based flight autonomy. Because it's unmanned, engineers can push boundaries, experimenting with new composites, stealth coatings, and aerodynamic algorithms without endangering human pilots. If this theory holds, the GGX may be less of a finished product and more of a floating laboratory guiding China's future in stealth and autonomous flight. There's also speculation that it could be multi-role, capable of switching between observation, data relay, and atmospheric analysis depending on the mission. With modular payload bays, it might carry different sensor packages, optical, infrared, or electronic, for diverse scientific and strategic applications. This flexibility would align with a broader global trend, designing aircraft that can multitask in complex environments rather than performing just one role. Regardless of its exact function, the GGX represents a significant milestone.
It demonstrates China's ability to design and build large, stealth-optimized, unmanned systems, something only a few nations have achieved. Its appearance in both satellite and flight footage shows that the project has moved beyond early experimentation and into an advanced testing phase. The sighting of the GJX represents far more than a new aircraft. It's a signal of how rapidly global aerospace innovation is evolving. Over the past few years, China has rolled out a wave of advanced designs, from the tailless J-36 stealth jet to autonomous systems. The GJX takes that momentum to a whole new level, entering a scale of operation that was once reserved for traditional crewed aircraft. From a technological standpoint, this shift means one thing. Uncrewed platforms are now capable of strategic reach. In the past, drones were confined to short-range or medium-altitude tasks. But a machine with a 42-meter wingspan and twin engines isn't designed for local missions. It's built for endurance. That endurance means longer flights, broader coverage, and more persistent monitoring of regions previously beyond reach. In the broader context, this development underscores a major milestone in autonomous aviation. As AI-assisted control systems advance, large unmanned aircraft can now handle complex flight paths, weather changes, and sensor fusion, all while maintaining stealth profiles. The GJX is proof that these systems are moving from theory to reality. It's the convergence of stealth design, advanced materials, and algorithmic intelligence. Another layer of importance lies in what this aircraft represents industrially. Building such a large stealth flying wing requires cutting-edge composites, precision assembly, and highly advanced wind tunnel validation. It also demands powerful computing to simulate aerodynamic behavior. That means the technological ecosystem supporting the GGX has matured, and this maturity often spills over into civilian aerospace, including next-generation transport and research aircraft. For the general audience fascinated by scientific exploration, this drone echoes a similar spirit of advancement. It's about extending perception and range. Where telescopes see the unseen in deep space, aircraft like the GGX seek to understand the unseen in Earth's atmosphere and near-space environments. Ultimately, the GJX is more than an aircraft. It's a milestone symbolizing how nations are redefining what it means to fly intelligently and invisibly. Its emergence marks a shift from traditional crude dominance to a future where autonomy, efficiency, and precision shape the next century of aviation. The appearance of the GJX is more than just a technological achievement. It's a glimpse into the future of flight. With its vast wingspan, stealth design, and silent power, this aircraft shows how far aerospace engineering has come, blending autonomy with intelligence and endurance. Whether it's a research platform, a reconnaissance system, or a technological pioneer, it signals that we're entering a new era of aviation. What's flying today in the skies over Xinjiang might define the air of tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.